How's it going guys? Today I'm going to show you how to burn music onto a CD using a Mac. All you need is a blank CD and you're pretty much good to go. So let's get started. Now on the desktop here I have this folder that I've created. You can create a folder on the desktop by right clicking anywhere on the desktop and selecting new folder. And then you can go ahead and give it a name. And I've already done so and what I've done is created a folder called music and inside this folder I have three mp3 files now I want to burn these mp3 files onto a CD you can obviously burn more than three onto a CD but I'm just doing this for example purposes so what you want to do is you want to take your CD your blank CD and just slide it into your disk drive and it's gonna take about 10 or 15 seconds to load up and once it's loaded up, you'll see this message right here. It says you inserted a blank CD, choose an action. You can just go ahead and click OK, and then you'll see the CD pop up on the desktop. Don't worry about that. So now what we want to do is, again, we want to take all the music that's in this folder and burn it onto this CD. Well, to do that, just click the folder once so it's highlighted, and then right-click on the folder, and then we'll scroll down and we'll see this Burn Music, or whatever the folder name is, to disk option here. So we're going to go ahead and click that once, and then we're going to, well, it says, are you sure you want to burn the contents of music to a disc? Yes, of course. Um, you can name the disc here. I'm just going to leave it uh, called music. And then I'm going to click burn. What's going to happen is it's going to burn all of the MP3 files that are currently stored inside that folder onto the disc. And this may take a couple of seconds. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. And I'll get back to you guys when it is completed. All right, so the music CD has successfully been created. It shows up on our desktop and we can actually click it and see the songs that are currently on the disc. And we should be able to take the CD and put it in pretty much anywhere that supports a CD player and, uh, and play these songs. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please leave a like. Consider subscribing. If it didn't help you, leave a dislike. Let me know what I can do better. And I will talk to you guys on the next video. Nothing, nothing, nothing in this world. Yeah.